fifth graders, happy Thursday. We're getting into lesson four and I have something to show you. It's an old fashioned instrument that many people used to use in the olden days. This, my friends, hopefully you can see, this is a stick. This stick represents 100 centimeters. We don't often call this, however, a hundred, there we go, 100, we don't call it a 100 centimeter stick, we call it a meter stick. So we are going to use and think about the meter stick in lesson four. We are going to uh, start doing some metric conversions, meaning uh, we are going to convert measurements from centimeters to meters, uh, meters to millimeters. Um, and it's going to be wonderful. We're going to continue practicing with our powers of 10. But the reason why I'm showing you this fancy meter stick is because I want you to constantly think about the fact that one meter stick, if you're holding a meter stick, if I'm holding a meter stick, how many meters am I holding? I'm holding one meter. If I stack or if I tape somehow two meters together, how many meters am I holding? Two meters, okay? So you guys are so clever. If I'm holding one meter stick, that means I'm holding one meter. However, how many centimeters am I holding? Well, if I'm holding one meter stick, that means that I'm holding 100 centimeters. If I'm holding one meter stick, that means that I'm holding 100 centimeters. Within each centimeter, Within each centimeter, do you guys see that one centimeter measurement? It's not, it's not that much. It's just, my finger is a little bit wider than one centimeter. Do you see those teeny, 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 tiny, tiny measurements inside the one centimeter? Yes, Miley does. Inside one centimeter lives 10 millimeters. If you get your magnifying glass, I think that you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things that live inside one centimeter. Those things are millimeters. Oh, wow, that's a lot to wrap my mind around, Mrs. Calamares. So I'm holding one meter, but I'm also holding 100 centimeters. And we just talked about the fact that within 100, I'm sorry, within one centimeter, lives 10 millimeters. So my friends, I need you to consider if I'm holding one meter, I'm also holding one centimeter, but how many millimeters am I holding? These tiny guys? Does anyone have the time to count how many millimeters I'm holding? Gosh, if only we knew how to write an expression using an exponent, and a power of 10 to calculate how many millimeters are in this meter. Think about it, let's get to work. We're uh, getting into lesson four. Uh, today's date is 9, 13, 18. And I need you guys to do exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going to need you guys please to draw a meter stick. Of course, this is not proportional. Your notebook is much less than a meter wide, but I want you to think about that meter stick and think about these metric conversions that we're going to be exploring in lesson four. Okay, so we have here, we have here a really straight, beautiful meter stick. If you're holding a meter stick, just like I was just discussing, if you're holding a meter stick, you are holding one meter, okay? And this is the metric system. If you're holding a meter stick, you're also holding, and I need, like I said, I need you guys to be drawing this in your notebook along with me. This is going to be a really, really helpful resource uh, in the next few lessons. So if you're holding one meter, you're holding one uh, meter stick, you're also holding 100 centimeters. So within this meter stick, 
we have, I'm not going to draw it, um, but we have, we have 100 centimeters. Moreover, beyond that, oh, kind of a nice pine green. Within our centimeters, if this were one right here, if this, I won't say if, this is one centimeter. So within our meter stick lives 100 centimeters. Now we're going to zoom in even further. Wow, that's really zoomed in, Miss Connors. Into one centimeter, one cm. Within one centimeter, we have, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. We're going to pretend <laughs> that they, we have 10 equal slices. Within one centimeter, we have something even smaller, millimeters. Within one centimeter lives 10 millimeters. Okay, so I hope you got. I hope you guys have this super super handy um, diagram written in. Um, one meter is equal to one hundred centimeters. Within one centimeter lives ten millimeters, and then of course this entire meter stick, as you guys saw in the video, is sliced into millimeters. So. This information is critical. One meter is equal to 100, ay, 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 100 <laughs> centimeters. 100, one meter and 100 centimeters is equal to 1,000 millimeters. Okay. So please make sure you have this really handy uh, little chart in your notebook. We are going to refer back to this. It's really, really important that you have it. Okay, guys, we are going to get into lesson four. Our objective looks a little wordy. We are to use exponents to denote powers of 10 with applications to metric conversions. Wowie, wow, wow. Um, this is, let's go ahead and break this down for you guys. We are going to continue using powers of 10 um, in an expression, perhaps 2 times 10 to the second. And we are going to work with conversions... Uh, metric conversions. For instance, we're going to be looking at things like, hmm, I have two meters. How many centimeters do I have? Well, I know that, think about the chart that you guys have in your notebook, and hopefully you can refer down to that. I know that we have 100 centimeters that live inside one meter. So if I had two meters, how many centimeters would I have? Oh, I would have 200 centimeters. Or I could have done 2 times 10 to the power of 2, or 2 times 100. So we're going to explore that. We're going to use exponents. You guys are doing an amazing job of using these floaty numbers. We are going to denote powers of 10. You guys are really great at that. And then we're going to apply this amazing learning you've done so far to symmetric conversions. Keep in mind, keep, uh, I'm sorry, continue to keep in touch with the meter stick. How many meters are you holding? How many centimeters are you holding? How many millimeters are you holding? Continue to use that visual, okay? And we also have meter sticks here in the classroom, so they'll be super helpful tomorrow when we're, uh, exploring this further. So let's get it. Okay, friends, we're going to work through a couple of these problems. Uh, again, we are L4. Um, please choose one of these problems 
to complete a newer notebook, or you uh, can also choose a word problem that I'm going to do in just a moment after we check these out. So please make sure, uh, continue to remember that you are responsible for completing one of these problems along with me. Okay, so let's check this out. Convert and write an equation. An equation looks like this, an equation with an exponent. You guys know what an exponent is. It's that floaty number next to the 10. Use your meter strip when it helps you. We're going to ignore that for a second. We might check out meter strips tomorrow, but let's just focus on the exponents and the equations. Okay, so the first one's done for us. Let's go through here uh, because examples are always super helpful. Think about, okay, so we're, we have three meters. We're holding three meter sticks, and we want to convert that to centimeters. Well, I feel like you guys hopefully um, can understand pretty quickly that three meters is equal to 300 centimeters because, because you guys know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Okay. And then putting this into an expression, we would focus on the 300. So we want, when we're focusing on the 300, we want to pull out um, we want to pull out a power of 10. So this is where you're really going to have to deconstruct 300. What number times a power of 10? Um, sorry, I shouldn't say that. What can we multiply by 10? Floaty number blank in order to make 300. Well, I know I can do 3 times 10 to get 30, but we don't want 30, we want 300. Well, hmm. what if we looked at three times floaty number, uh, three times 10 to the second power? We know that 10 to the second power is 100. So, I'm so sorry, we don't need a floaty number anymore. So then we can think about the fact that three times 100 is equal to 300. Okay, I am going to, I'm sorry, I'm very distracted by the phone ringing. Um, I am going to look at something else that seems pretty, I like the meter to centimeter right now as we're starting off. Okay, so let's look at, see here. 1.68 meters to centimeters. 1.68 meters, so this is more than a meter, right? We have a meter and then some, is going to be equal to 168 centimeters. What we need now is we need to write an expression that will uh, be equal to 168. So let's think about it. We have 1.68 times 10 floaty number something that's going to be equal to 168. So we have to think about, we have 168, I'm sorry, we have 1.68, 1.68, 1 what would we multiply 1.68 to so that it would shift over and result in a product of 168? We have, oh, Hold on one second. I have Miss Herseth here. So we have to think about what would we multiply 1.68 by? What power of 10 would we multiply 1.6 by that would result in 168? Well, it looks to me that this one hopped to the left, okay, that's good because we're multiplying, hop to the left, one, two spaces. This six hop to the left, one, two spaces. This eight hop to the left, one, two spaces. So what it looks like to me, you guys, is that we multiplied 1.68 times 10 to the power of two to get 168. So what we're going to be working on tomorrow is what am I going to be multiplying? What pow how many powers of 10 am I going to be multiplying by? But we're also going to look, about, look at what happens when we're going to be dividing by powers of 10. 
So the practice that we've had on the place value chart with multiplying by powers of 10 and dividing by powers of 10 is really going to come in handy tomorrow. We will uh, add another table to our math notebook that's going to guide this understanding. Um, I'm going to look at one. Hey kiddos, we're going to take a look at one more problem here. Uh, this is just a quick word problem. Let's see if we can make yellow work. Maybe not yellow, maybe let's do blue. Uh, okay, so first step to successfully re uh, solving a word problem is read the word problem. Light blue is not gonna work. Let's go with orange. That's not really orange. Let's go with Let's go with periwinkle. Okay, a honeybee's length measures one centimeter. I'm going to underline that because that's really important information. Express this measurement in meters. Explain your thinking. Include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. Holy moly. Okay, so before I just start going through and blindly calculating, I'm going to draw um, my bee. Please don't laugh. I'm doing my very best work. <laughs> uh, this is a honeybee, so I'm not going... Do honeybees have stingers? I am pic I'm picturing honeybees as those happy, fluffy bees. So that's my bee. He measures, he or she, measures one centimeter. Think about how large one centimeter is. One centimeter is a little bit uh, smaller than the width of my finger. It's the length of a honeybee. You guys have seen honeybees. Is this a full meter? Is a centimeter a full meter? Heck no. It's a fraction of a meter. It's a tiny, if this is a meter stick, one centimeter is a tiny fraction of a meter. So you guys know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if we needed to express this measurement in meters, how would we do that? We need to explain our thinking, include an equa equation with an exponent in our explanation. Well, I know that 100 centimeters live inside a meter. So this is a fraction. One centimeter is equal to one hundredth of a meter. We can write it as a fraction. We can also write it as a decimal one hundredth of a meter. In order to write an equation, we are going to have to figure out one centimeter is equal to how many meters? Well, think about what we were doing in our previous problems. We have one centimeter. We want to convert one centimeter to meters. If we divide one centimeter by 10, to the power of two, or if we divide by 100, let's think about what that's going to do. One divided by 100. Okay, so let's just draw a quick place value chart and see what happens. I have one. I'm going to divide one by 100, which means we're going to hop over one, two spaces to the right. So one divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.01. Indeed, our, I'm trying to, our exponent, our expression with our exponent is right here. 1 divided by 10 to the second power, 1 divided by 100 is going to be equal to 0 0.01. For those of you that brought a place value chart home, I think that's really, really helpful. Uh, tomorrow we will continue to practice this. We're going to use our exponents. We're going to be dividing and moving this way in the place value chart, multiplying and moving this way, all while practicing uh, these metric conversions. So have a great night and I'll see you guys in the morning.